Hey everyone, Angie back for another Breeze to Basics video. So as we can see, of course, I am once again outside. The weather is still pretty agreeable. It's not as hot as it was last Wednesday or the week before that, but it still feels pretty nice. Um, also, I have my hair wrapped up because I just got out of the shower not too long ago and you know, I have long hair now, so I like to wrap it up and that sort of helps keep the it helps with how my hair curls and also like I said the weather's pretty agreeable but I'm skin and bones so I'm a, honestly a little bit chilly I think it's because the Sun isn't brightly shining on me and the wind is sort of um, hitting me in such a way that I'm shivering <laughs> a little bit which is sad because it's like 63 degrees out here so I should not be shivering but the reason I say that is because that's why I have my hair wrapped up still. If it were really hot, like for like it was last week, for example, I would just let my wet hair um, down and just let it, you know, sort of air dry in the sun. But I'm afraid if I were to do that now, considering the fact that I'm already shaking, I think I would freeze to death. <laughs> so that is why the hair is up. I am sorry if this is too much of an informal look or yeah it, yeah <laughs> sorry if you don't like it but it is what it is right so i'm digressing let's go ahead and get into today's topic which as you know from the title is see i'm seeing the phone shake because my <laughs> my arms are shaking because i'm so chilly um <laughs> this is sad um Right, so the topic is about refreshers, and I'm going to try to keep this actually brief because I'm literally shaking. So, refreshers. Starbucks has three different kinds of refreshers that it offers at the moment. There is the strawberry acai, the very berry hibiscus, and the mango dragon fruit. Now, there are three main components of each one of these beverages, and they're all basically the same with some few minor differences. So all of the drinks have some sort of juice base. And now this juice base is where the flavor, the actual flavor of the drink comes from mostly. Um, this is slightly caffeinated, the base. So if you have ever wondered if a refresher has caffeine in it, it does slightly, not very much, but it does have a slight amount due to um, green coffee beans. I'm not entirely sure how they extract the caffeine from that or why they specifically use you know the unroasted immature coffee bean for the refreshers but that is what i was informed so that's about all i can give you on that <laughs> i can just tell you that it has it in there but so there's the base then the second component is either water or lemonade added into it to cut it Personally, I prefer lemonade in my refreshers because I just think it adds more complexity to the drink. It adds some tartness, you know, some sourness, of course, and some sweetness as well, which is nice. It provides a nice balance because the refreshers are typically pretty sweet. Um, and then the last component is the uh, freeze-dried berries or the freeze-dried fruit that goes in it. So... For the strawberry acai, it's freeze-dried strawberries. For the very berry hibiscus, it's freeze-dried blackberries. And for the mango dragon fruit, it's freeze-dried dragon fruit pieces. And personally, it kind of depends on my mood, but I usually go for a mango dragon fruit refresher, I think because I just like more tropical flavors typically. Um, the strawberry acai is good too. I'm not the biggest fan of the very berry hibiscus, personally. Um, but it's still good. It has its merits. Um, but the strawberry acai or the mango dragon fruit, they pop off. Love those. Um, so those are what the three refreshers are at the moment. We used to have a cool lime refresher. That was when I first started. Um, and it had like these freeze dried lime wheels. They were so cool. Um, loved that drink and then even before i started apparently there was like a valencia orange refresher which i never got to try but it sounds really good i wish we still offered that um 
but those are some examples of some past uh, refreshers that Starbucks has had. So uh, I said I'm trying to keep this beat brief, but we're going on five minutes here. What else do I need to explain regarding these? Oh, um, so if you get a refresher and you substitute coconut milk for either water or the lemonade, it turns into a blank drink. So for example, a strawberry acai refresher with coconut milk is the pink drink. There's no difference between those two. That is a common um, question, a common misconception that I have gotten a lot of as a barista. Uh, the same thing applies for the violet drink. You know, same idea, coconut milk instead of water or lemonade with the very, very hibiscus base. And then of course we have the dragon drink, which is the same principle, but with the mango base. Um, I think the last thing I like to touch on would be uh, customizing these drinks. Of course, you can customize any Starbucks drink to your heart's desire, basically, but the refreshers are especially fun because I feel like they are a really good drink to utilize syrups in. So I said already that the refreshers are pretty sweet, but you know, if you have a hankering for something really sweet or you just have a big sweet tooth like I do, you can add some syrup in there. For example, classic or liquid cane sugar to sweeten it some more, which I like to do a little bit. I also like to add a little bit of raspberry syrup in specifically the strawberry acai refresher. I don't really know why. It just adds sweetness and some other sort of unique fruity um, flavor that I quite enjoy. So I wanted to let that be known that you know you can add these things into your drink. You know, I've, you know, people have added like vanilla and hazelnut or whatever into, or peppermint even, I've gotten ones into the refreshers as well. The peppermint I found a little interesting, but I'm not here to pass judgment on them. Um, but yeah, so I believe I've covered everything regarding the refreshers. We talked about what they are, what the components are, the differences between them, what the drinks are like the pink drink or the violet drink yeah i think that should be it for this episode so i can go ahead and conclude now i would first of all like to thank you guys for sticking with me specifically through this episode because i know that i'm looking pretty busted um i'm sniffling a bit i'm sure i haven't been looking at um the camera a lot of the time but i'm sure i have been the camera's been shaken because I can feel my arms shaking. So I'd like to apologize for that. Um, and again, apologize for my appearance. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope that you learned something useful. Um, you know, again, I said this last week, but I hope that this information allows you to walk into a Starbucks feeling more informed, feeling more prepared, maybe a little less overwhelmed, because I do know that it can be overwhelming to walk into a Starbucks and see this big menu that doesn't even have all the items and you don't know what's in what. Um, so it can be a lot, but I hope that this video helped to alleviate some of that anxiety. And yeah, I, again, thank you guys for checking the video out. I hope that you are all doing well, staying safe and healthy, practicing our coronavirus, you know, safety procedures, precautions, social distancing, um, self-quarantining, etc. And yeah, I just hope that everybody is staying well, staying entertained, not going crazy <laughs> like I kind of am, um, you know, being cooped up inside and everything. But, you know, stay lovey, right? Um, but yeah, so thank you guys. And I will see you guys next week for a new video. Hopefully the weather will be a little more agreeable. So I won't be shivering like a kid left out in the cold. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope to see you guys then, and I appreciate you for checking this video out. I hope you have a good day. Take care.